<laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Grace Grella and the hostess of the Grace Grella Show. And tonight is a very special show. It's our 800th, can you believe this, episode of doing the show. We've been doing the show for 20 years to make sure that you are in the positive zone and you get the information you need in your lives, whether it's about your love life, your family, your friends, uh, uh, the people uh, who are watching over you, your angels, uh, your family members. Hey, you know, we deliver the 411 and make sure there's a little pep in your step uh, to boot. And I can't do this show alone. It takes a village to do this show, trust me. And through the years, uh, so many people have volunteered uh, their time and their talent on the show. And, um, oh, countless people. I mean, I could name names, and a lot of them. Uh, most significantly, we want to start with Shirley Ann Bruno, the executive director here at PATV. She was the one who found me. Thank you, Shirley, for finding me way back when and uh, the board of directors with, without whom there wouldn't be any TV programming here. And of course, there's Erica Bradley, Allen Ginsberg, Mike uh, Peters, Sabina Miller, the one and only. Um, so many people, Marcelo Mendez, Rick Perez, uh, the Bernatoviches, um, I can go on and on. Uh, Rebecca, Harold, all the good looking interns that the colleges keep sending us and we're uh, blessed to have them. Even Jared, I know you're in there in the control room, Jared. Um, Elliot Rosenblatt, um, all the people I've known to, uh, <laughs> grown to love and to know over the years, thank you. Uh, I mean it from my, uh, the bottom of my heart and above all my, my invisible entourage thanks you and uh, it's uh, throwing out that love zone to you. So. Uh, it's, it's really a, a bit emotional for me. It's, uh, you, know, you think the passage of time is, oh, that was just yesterday, wasn't it? And then when you reflect back and you realize all the time, all the hours, all the energy, all the talent that everybody has shared, um, I'm really blessed to do this. I, it's my gift from God. Trust me, it's non-refundable. Tried to give it back. He won't take it back. So we're all given gifts, we all need to use it, and this is what we do for you. And this is our pro bono work, um, this is free. This is uh, the best thing going, the best things in life are free. And uh, this is what we uh, live for, this is what we're doing this show for. And hopefully it'll be another 800 episodes in the near, f uh, in the near future. And before you know it, blink, we'll be doing our uh, thousandth episode can you imagine? They'll wheel me in. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but the good news is, is that we're here tonight, and we have a very special show. Tonight's show is uh, what I want to call the miracle show and love from above. And everybody, every person on this planet, if you think back over the years in your life, there's been an, a moment where you just couldn't explain it. Logic couldn't explain it. There must have been divine intervention. How else could it have happened? And uh, my mother, God rest her soul, would always say, for those who have faith, no explanation is necessary. For those who don't, there is no explanation. And uh, we have a beautiful family in the studio tonight that I am so grateful to for coming here to share their story and talk about uh, proof positive. Um, I want to welcome uh, to the show. Phil and his beautiful daughter Jennifer, thank you so thank much you. for coming tonight. Thank you. Uh, you two, it was uh, talk about fate for sure, meant to be. Uh, I was out at a restaurant, an Italian okay. restaurant. It's no longer open, unfortunately. Right. But, uh, uh, Vero's out in Amityville, and that's where I ran into you and your beautiful wife. Mm -hmm. And um, intuitively, I knew uh, this, an angel whispered, you know, they need to be on the show. Mm -hmm. So. Even way back when, because this, how long ago was this film? Oh, it had to be either a year or two, whenever, about a year or two ago. About a year or two ago? Okay. See, how time... We were there, we must have been there about two hours, talking, right. and before you even said anything. And then uh, you, you kept looking at me and staring at me and looking at me and staring at me. I'm like, what's... And then you finally had to come out and say it. Right. That everybody was, you know... Right. And uh, <laughs> so even way back when I was uh, doing the uh, Teresa Caputo, I don't want to, you know, mug you in a restaurant, right. you know, it's the Italian thing. But do you know you have angels watching over you? <laughs> um, especially your mom, okay? And um, 
I really believe that. Uh, now, he, you shared with me that your mom's been sending you dimes. <laughs> and I thought this was adorable because our executive director, Shirley Ann Bruno, mm -hmm. her dad throws her quarters. You know? <laughs> and me, I get pennies from heaven. So, <laughs> hey, you know, I've got to save up longer. What can I, what can I do? But um, it's, it's really significant when we go through some, an event in our lives that we have no control over. And we realize the power of not only prayer, but divine intervention. And uh, Jennifer, tell me what happened with you and your, your car situation. I, um, I was just driving, and the uh, a man must have fallen asleep at the wheel. And uh, he was on the wrong side of the road, hit me head on. He, when he arrived to the hospital, had died. And um, I was rushed to the hospital with uh, fracture in my leg, a tibial plateau fracture. Wow. But, um, what was that yeah. like, babe? Did you, uh, you were just in shock? You didn't register what happened? I, uh, yeah, yeah um, I just remember uh, seeing headlights, and then I blacked out after that, and um, I just remember the ambulance, me being in the ambulance, but I completely blacked out, but not a scratch on my face, nothing. Yeah, just well. Something. You have your grandma to thank for yeah. that and the angels. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure that everybody on the scene couldn't believe it because yeah. uh, we have a photo. Um, we have a photo of the car uh, that we're going to be bringing up. And that is like unbelievable that you made it out of that. Yeah. It's, you know, uh, seeing is believing. I think a lot of people will be believing after seeing this. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is for sure. All right. Yes. And um, it's, it's so awesome that it was uh, a, a gift to you, you mm -hmm. know? It, it's like heaven said, oh no, she's mm -hmm. too beautiful. She's got <laughs> too much work to do. We don't want her yet, <laughs> okay? And uh, your grandmother's like, not on my watch. <laughs> okay, not my granddaughter. And um, now, um, Phil, are you one of four children? One of five. Oh, you're one of five. So she gives me the number four. So there's four others besides you. That must be why she's telling mm -hmm. me four. Um, and she says something to do with who's Stephen? Stephen. Stephen. In connection with you and work. And what's mm. this with insurance? Do you have anything to do with insurance or insurance papers? Yeah, I'm in insurance business. Oh, you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, remember this name? She's given you the uh, the inside uh, uh, 411 here. She wants to tell you that somebody named Stephen is going to be offering you an opportunity for you to go off on your own. Okay, mm -hmm. and um, she said to really go for it. Have faith in yourself. Okay, um, and she's got you back, mm -hmm. right? Um, so instead of throwing you dimes, maybe she'll up it now to uh, dollars. You'll find mm -hmm. dollars. Okay. <laughs> um, now, what I find interesting is that um, do you dream of your grandmother? Mm -hmm. She says she's been coming to you in your dreams. Mm -hmm. Well, recently since the accident. I Since have, the accident, I have right? Weird dreams, yeah. Yeah, okay. No, they're not weird, trust me. Okay. <laughs> I've been having them all my life, and they're not weird. Okay. Um, and she's so happy because she said she gets to love you from the inside out. You know, the Italian in her mm. wants to hug you from the outside <laughs> in. But she says what's most important about love is when you're loved from the inside, you know, from the inside out from the heart, mm -hmm. okay? And that was your grandmother. Mm -hmm. She was the heart, uh, you know, uh, bigger than the, the state of Texas, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And um, she's, uh, she's got that kind of love for you. She says you're never getting rid of her. She's always <laughs> watching over you. She says she needs me, obviously, she <laughs> needs me. She's making a joke, right? Um, and she says something to do with um, Mother's Day. Were you gonna, uh, planning on bringing some sort of flowers to where she's buried? Yeah, I usually go with my dad to visit her on Mother's Day, oh. bring her flowers. Woody. Okay, so she's thanking you in advance for the flowers. <laughs> and um, what's this with Gerber daisies? Um, she's showing me Gerber daisies, and maybe she's just putting her water in, okay? <laughs> but I see Gerber daisies, they're colorful. She loved <laughs> color, you know? Um, she says she wasn't like the old Italian uh, mourner in black. That wasn't her style. She was very colorful, she says, mm -hmm. and she loved to dance. Is that true? Well, when she was, she, when she was small, uh, my mother conducted um, Alzheimer's, and she used to dance with my daughter to the sound of music every day. Oh, OK. 
Okay, so uh, that's why she's saying she still loves to dance. As a matter of fact, when she passed away, she passed away at home. And my daughter used to go downstairs. Uh, they lived downstairs from us. My daughter used to go downstairs and sit on my mother's lap all night long. For some reason, that night, my daughter didn't wake up till 10 o'clock. And my mother died at 6 in the morning. She never came down that day. She didn't wake up until we came back. She didn't know what happened. Wow. So it was kind of like keeping her away, I guess. Yeah. Well, them being protective once again, mm -hmm. you know. And so um, she says, even uh, in life and in death, mm -hmm. she's your protector. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you'll never get a better protector than your grandma on the other mm -hmm. side. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And she um, said all that dancing. She wants you, and not just a tarantella at your wedding. <laughs> okay. Um, she wants you to have the joy in life, and she says you'll be dancing with that leg. Wait and see. Uh, you little rocket, you, she says. So um, she uh, says also that there's something to do with um, Aunt Angelina. Angela, Angelina. Somebody that she, that's with her on the other side. So I don't know if this is somebody that she just made friends with. My aunt. You have an aunt by this name? Aunt, no, I, not by that name, no, aunt, but I thought you, maybe you were saying aunt. No, aunt. no, it's, she's talking about somebody on the other side she's hanging out with by the name of Angela or Angelina, okay? And um, she oh. said, do, do you uh, recall, Phil, who this could be to her? What was the girl's name that took care of mom, grandma? Was it an Angela? I don't remember. Angelina? All right, well, she says that she's hanging out on the other side. It's like a friendship kind of mm -hmm. an energy here. Okay, so you know, having, uh, trust me, sweetheart, when you have guardian angels, the more the merrier. Okay, mm -hmm. um, and she said, please don't be nervous about her coming to you in, in your dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay, she said, sometimes you get weirded out about it, she mm -hmm. said. Is that true? Do you get like yeah. a little nervous? Yeah. Yeah. Have, did you sleep with your rosary beads uh, around your neck one night? They're right next to my bed. Ah, she said she was so nervous, she almost put those rosary beads around her neck, <laughs> okay? Um, she said she loves you. She's never going to hurt you, mm -hmm. all right? And she said part of the reason that she made this happen mm -hmm. is because she wanted you to be comforted. She wanted you to, to exhale and, and feel at ease. And now, literally, look at how many people you're going to um, inspire and um, also give hope to, all right, that, wow, you know, this is, this is the real deal. This, you know, obviously we can't make, we don't have to make this stuff up. It, it really happens for you, okay? And um, she also said, um, she said that it was a blessing that you uh, didn't recall a lot of it because uh, she said uh, you would have been in too much pain. So it was kind of like, you know, uh, a divine intervention there as well, mm -hmm. that you kind of like blacked it out, yeah. okay? Um, but she said the uh, EMS worker was cute. 